What's up guys? Today we're going to check out Prey on 4K Blu-ray. I'm not here to talk about how good or bad the movie is, I'm just going to share some of my thoughts on the audio and video quality. Now let's go over a few tech specs. The movie was shot in 4K, it's got a 4K DI, it's rated R, runtime is 100 minutes, aspect ratio is 239 to 1, and the audio is in Dolby Atmos. Before we take a look at the audio and see how active this mix is, if you don't know what the Atmos Viewer is, you can find a link down below in this video's description that tells you all about it, what it does, and where you can get it. You can also find a link of all the gear that I use for these 4K reviews down there as well. Jumping into the Atmos Viewer, right in Chapter 1, when the girl is throwing the axe, you can hear it coming from the back left corner and hitting the tree right up front in the center channel. There's this big echo that reverberates throughout the room, and as you can see, this is a very dynamic mix. There's also a flyover that lights up the top speakers with a thunderous boom that hits pretty hard when the Predator ship comes flying overhead. And since this entire movie takes place out in the forest, there is a ton of lower channel ambiance that's got a very wide, spacious soundstage. Most of the ambiance does remain in the lower channels, but during the nighttime scenes, there's more extension to the height speakers. It's a lot of insects, birds, wind, you know, everything that you might hear if you're out in the wilderness. At 42 minutes in, when the bear is clawing through that stack of wood trying to kill the girl, it sounds like the bear is actually right on top of you. Now unfortunately, with most of the big action scenes, there isn't much happening up top. The first big predator fight scene at 49 minutes is all lower channel activities, with decent panning from front to back and vice versa. And even almost the entire last 20 minutes of the movie, there's nothing happening up top despite the very two aggressive fight scenes. Bass response hits hard with okay extension down low, but it wasn't as beefy as I was expecting it to be. The positive thing about this mix is that you don't have to raise your volume 10 dB higher than normal. If you're new to the channel and you're into home theater or want to keep up with the latest and greatest in audio and video gear, tap the subscribe button for new weekly videos. Video quality wise, this is a clean, sharp 4K transfer. I'd say it's got a good mixture of crispy, detailed shots, while other times it's got a little softness to it that gives it a not so digital look. There's no digital grain added, so it does remain clean from start to finish. Detail was excellent throughout, especially the really crispy clean shots. You can see the dirt under the girl's nails, count individual blades of grass, and even the sweeping wide landscape shots look fantastic. Some of the CG did look noticeably fake, like the projectiles in that guy's body and his eyeball, and some of the animal effects were just a little bit off. Overall, for such a lower budget movie, I thought the effects worked well and better than some of the recent big budget flicks that are out there right now. As for the HDR, this isn't really a bright movie. It's a little brighter than Free Guy, but not as bright as Aquaman. Specular highlights from the sun beaming through the clouds can make you squint, but this isn't a disc that's going to blow you away for HDR brightness, nor is it going to blow you away for HDR colors. The color palette is all greens and browns with some splashes of red, and everything is very natural looking if not a touch subdued. The black levels did look a little raised for the darker nighttime scenes, but the daytime scenes had very nice contrast. It's an overall clean, sometimes crispy looking 4K transfer that should make 4K fans happy, especially if you're not a fan of film grain. The HDR is reserved for the most part, but as a whole, I found it to be a great looking transfer, so I'm going to have to go with an 8.8 .8 for video. For audio, this has a very detailed sound mix that surrounds you for most of the runtime. It does remain mostly in the lower channels for about 80% of the movie, but when the height speakers kick in, it really does give you a great sense of immersion. The bass was good, but could be better, and the dialogue was solid throughout. I'm going to go with an 8.4 for audio. So what are your thoughts on Prey on 4K Blu-ray? Have you seen it and where would you rank it in the Predator franchise? Leave a comment down below and let me know. Now if you do want to pick up this movie, I'll leave some links for it down below in this video's description. As always guys, thanks for watching. If you want, you can follow us on social media. And if you want to support the channel and get exclusive content or great discounts on audio and video gear, then stop by our Patreon page. Be sure to like this video if you found it useful and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you again in the next video.